So let's get started, and our first sketch is going to be a jazz sax player, and that's a great sketch to do. So let's start with a couple shapes, as always. And first one is an oval, right about here. And his body will be a line, just going to indicate the action, and a couple shapes for his feet. One, two, and one out here for his arm, and here's another circle for his hand. Now, if you've got that, you've got it made, because now what we're going to do is go into his face and add the features. Here's his nose, and we need a facial expression because he's blowing into a sax. He's going to have a really big cheek, just like real puffy like that. And here's his mouth. And let's put his ear in. This is a side view of him. And if he's a jazz sax player, he's going to have shades on. So let's do that. And that's just a rectangle that we're going to fill in. And this line goes back to his ear. And we can even make that a little darker there. Some stubbles, let's give him a crew cut. And his eyebrows up, pussy's happy. Uh, okay, now let's see what we can do. Now for his arm, we're gonna thicken that line up that we already laid down, because that's all it is, just thickening up what we've already got started. And here's his jacket. And here's his stomach. Right where his waist is, we'll make that line right there. And here's his feet. See how his cheeks puffing out like that? I had a friend of mine who, played, who plays trumpet. His name is Hank. And we kid him about it because he gets as red as a beet, and he gets his cheeks puff out like that. But that's how you play a wind instrument. It takes a lot of wind. OK, this hand right here is going to be holding the sax. So here's his hand. Now, right from his mouth, we're going to make a big curly line like this, come out and up and around, and we're going to make an oval over here, because that's going to be the bell of the saxophone. Now we're going to double that wavy line that we made, come back through his hand, and taper it right where it goes into his mouth. Beautiful. There it is. Now what we're going to do is put his other hand in, which is behind, and this one here would be palms out, although it would be blocked by the sack. So, but his palm would be facing us. So there's his thumb, and then his fingers are wrapped around. And let's have one going out that way. And let's thicken that in. And there it is. So now let's put some detail on the sax. As I said, I, I, I always get great ideas when I'm playing music. And whenever I'm sketching, I get great ideas for music. And they really do go well together. Let's put some darkness in there. That makes it look like it's got depth. So you can actually put your hand right in there. And you know what? I think that's all we're going to do to this. Next, let's put some color in it. So make the sketch come out a little bit more, too. So use some of my, my tuning pencils for this one. Now, for the face, as I said, we have to make that red. So after we put some color in like that, we use a little bit of red. And that'll make the sketch a little, a little funnier. There you go. And let's make him a cool jazz sax player, and let's give him a plaid jacket. There's a couple lines going every which way. And we'll even color his pants in blue, make him color coordinated. And some yellow for the sax. And some color for his hands there. Oh, forgot his other sleeve, didn't I? Let's do that. And there it is. Great cartoon sketch. You know what? While you're looking at that, play a little jazz saxophone music. <laughs> ¶¶